This is the Aflao Tema Highway. This stretch has claimed many lives, including Mary's father, a sleepy driver who killed him in a terrible head-on collision in 2019. I lost my dad through road accidents. The report that came out was that the driver was dozing off. So the accident happened in such a way that my father came, was coming from Togo to Ghana with some friends. And then a, a car was coming in front of their car. So they were trying to dodge the car, but unfortunately it collided. Then my father passed away sadly. The accident stole the young lady's source of joy and left her with a heavy load of traumatic experiences. When I lost my dad, when I heard the news, I decided to stop schooling because my dad was my favorite person in the world. And then without him, I'm like nothing. So I decided to stop schooling because when I go to school and then I see my friends that bringing them to school, then I start crying. Or I, I decided to take my bag and go home. So it hasn't been easy since I lost my dad. It has been three years now, but still when I see other people with their dad, I still feel sad. As if that was not enough, Mary's scars were pierced by another tragic accident. Her seven-year-old brother was also killed by a speeding vehicle. But in the darkness emerged a story of resilience and hope. Mary found strength in her grief. Because of pain. So when I saw that, I promised my mom that I will not let anyone in my family go through that pain again. So I want to be a surgeon to help everyone who wants to be operated to be free from injuries so that we will promote healthy living and then families can live together without losing any loved ones through accidents. When this step came to our schools that anything like what we want to invent, any idea we can bring it out. So I and my friends decided to design a motor and a car accident control device. And the name of the device is anti-sleep alarm for motorists. She and her colleagues of young innovators are working hard to reduce the carnage on Ghana's roads with this new device. This device I let drivers whenever they are dozing off when driving. So this device is programmed and designed in such a way that the eye blink sensor coordinates the eye and then detects when the driver is dozing off. So after it has detected that the driver is dozing off, the buzzer starts to beep. And if the buzzer beeps for some time and then the driver regains consciousness, he or she is good to go. But when the buzzer continues to beep, and then the driver does not regain consciousness, the car will slow down and stop automatically. After that, our GSM module in the car will send the, an SMS, and then also the location of the driver to any emergency contact on the driver's phone that is inactive for, their, for his or her loved ones to come and rescue him. According to data from the Motor Traffic and Transport Department, MTTD, of the Ghana Police Service, road accident increased by 5.5% in 2023, raising serious safety concerns. Mary believes their project, when given the needed attention, could help to reduce the current trend. Mary may have lost her dear ones to road accidents, but she and her teammates are resolute in changing the narrative with their invention. Lois Shola Adeyemi's report for Joy Prime.